Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Jessie. For those of you who don't know who I am, and for today's video, I wanted to go ahead and do a little video for a soft glam look, like the look that I have right now. By no means, I am not a makeup artist. I am a makeup lover. This is just how I personally do my makeup. I know there are definitely other techniques. Um, these are my just little techniques, how I do it, how it is easier for me. So I just wanted to show you guys how I do mine and maybe you know you like it or you know whatever it is or you just like to see someone do their makeup. So uh, I hope you guys stay tuned and let's go ahead and just get loaded with this video, okay? Okay, so first I want to go ahead and show you guys my bare face. I went ahead and washed my face and did my skincare routine and um, I'm basically ready to go. So the first thing in my uh, thing that I will be doing is doing my primer. This is the Smashbox uh, photo finish one. I honestly switch primers all the time. I've used the MAC one, but for today we're going to go ahead and use the Smashbox one. Right now the foundation that I am using is the NARS Radiant one in Santa Fe. So what I usually like to do is I will go over with the brush. After the brush, I will do uh, a, a beauty blender and just go all over and do little dots everywhere. This is more like my um, more in, in the summer one. Oh, and then the brush that I am using is a It Cosmetics, um, those like ones that they do for um, October, like their limited edition brushes. Okay, so now I'm pretty sure we're done, pretty much done with the foundation. I go ahead and go light right here with the foundation. I do go over it, but not that much. Just because I also am going to be using concealer. So here is my beauty blender, and I'll be basically blending this out. Of course, make sure to do your neck. Starting to look a little bit more put together already. Now, concealer that I like to use is the Lancome one, this one right here. Now, this is a little bit too light, but somehow I feel like it works for me, okay? So I always like to do like a little heart right there, I don't know, you know? All right, and that is where I do my um concealer stuff right here of course the eyes do a little bit right here because also have, like my i have a little bit more dark pigmentation right down there now it's time to blend 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 and yeah i know there are color correctors honestly i haven't bought any in a, in a while so like the ones that i do have are basically already expired all right so now we got a good base going on in my face now what am I gonna do now? So after my base, I that's whenever I do my um, contour. And the contour that I go with is the Anastasia Contour Stick, and this one is in the color Mink. At first, whenever I bought this, it seemed like a little bit too dark, but of course you blend it out and all that stuff, but it is scary whenever you're like, oh shit, I bought this, you know, this looks too dark. I don't like to just straight up just line it. I used to kind of just, I like to like, you know, stamp it around. And you'll see in a minute. I'll do like a little stampy motion like that. Stampy motion right down here. And then I'll do a little bit more stamping right here around my nose. Woo, girl. All right, so that is what I do with my contour now. And of course, now it's time to blend again. And I'll use a beauty blender for my uh, blending. After I have done blended, my contour i like to go ahead and go over again with my same um concealer and just do the tip the bridge of my nose just lighten it up a little bit more you know and i'll do it like the butt of the beauty blender all right so we've done our base contour now we are going to do the uh powder and the one that i usually uh go to is the anastasia banana and we're gonna be baking, okay? We're gonna be doing under our eyes and then just a little bit like on the sides as well and also at the tip of the nose. Okay, so that is my face after I've done like my little baking process or put on the my baking powder. So right now, uh, what I will typically do is my eyebrows and my eyes. And let's go ahead and do my eyebrows right now. The eyebrow of choice is of course, again, Anastasia, the uh, Brow Wiz. Now this one is in color dark brown. I also, I tint my eyebrows, so I really don't need that much, I feel, whenever I'm doing my eyebrows. So just a little bit goes a long way. Just more, this is more just to make it define for my purposes. 
all right so that is me with eyebrows just like a little bit more more sharpened as i like it personally for the eyes i like um the mini orgy palette from jeffree star and i'll just lightly go on the eyes as you'll see in a little bit so i'll lightly go on gagging go ahead and put this as my base of my eye so we got a good base going on now i will go ahead and start making like a kind of like a soft crease or whatever you want to call it right around here the color that i go with is champagne drip and i'll just go lightly back and forth uh, and let's go ahead and go with explicit and i'll do explicit more on the outer corner of it of my eye right here and i will go ahead and go back on my base right here and then i'll go ahead and go to gag gagging again and then i'll just lightly pat on the color now our eyes a little bit more defined now comes the fun part which i personally love is the eyeliner mascara and then the lashes and in a little bit we'll go ahead and um brush all this powder off my eyeliner of choice i hop around with eyeliners all the time the one that i'm using right now is the lancome idole or whatever you want to call it this one right here I have the Charlotte Tillsbury one. For the purpose of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one, the Lancome one for today. And then I do a little wing, a soft little wing right there. All right, now that is my other liner. Oh, are these sisters? Let's, let's go with their twins. And we'll go ahead and now brush off my powder. And the brush is like a puffy one. It's from Sonia from the Target brand. And so I will go ahead and just start brushing lightly off. All right, so that is a pretty good brush off from what I can tell. Sorry, I'm like looking at the camera and also looking down here and then I have another mirror right behind me or right in front of me, so I'm like looking everywhere. Now, um, I will do my mascara. I also like to hop around with my mascara. The mascara that I'm using right now is the Charlotte Tillsbury, um, the Pillow Talk one. I just love her whole aesthetic, her whole line. It's just so, it's so glam, so fancy, so elegant. The thing about my lashes is I hate my lashes. But story time. I used to do um, the eyelash extensions for the longest, but I became allergic to it. So one day after I had gotten my eyelashes done, the next day after my eyelash, both my eyelids were just so swollen. And I'm like, what is going on? I text my eyelash girl and she was like, yeah, I think you're having a reaction. So we let it pass. It went, eventually went down. Uh, I went to get in a refill and then the same thing happened. And basically I'm the ones that just developed a allergy towards the glue or whatever it is so since then i stopped doing eyelash extensions but even before eyelash extensions my eyelashes are just very short and straight i will curl them and then um they will become just back to straight in a couple of hours i've used the electric curler same shit so uh, yeah so that's my little story on my lashes so right now i'm just gonna go ahead and use my regular eyelash curler Okay, so my eyelash, I'll go ahead and start applying them right now. I have these velour tweezers for lashes and I do use their lash glue. I do tend to lean more into this one instead of like the duo ones. The eyelashes are the ones that really just stick everything together for me, you know, for my, for my face. Okay, I have my eyelashes pretty well on right now. So now the next item of choice will be blush. Right now I am in love with the Entertain by Tarte and also Doll Face by, Doll, by Tarte. And I like to do both. I like to do like that whole, you know, like if I'm sick, you know, kawaii type of uh, look. So I'll go ahead and do Entertain first and more will be over here. The brush that I like to use is a MAC one. I don't know what, what number this is. It, I think it's 120. I forgot. Now we're getting a little bit of color in us. Oh, we'll finally do a doll face. A little bit on my nose. So that is my blushes. Now, bronzer. Bronzer of my choice is the Too Faced Sunny Sun Bunny. I don't know if it's because of the name that wraps me in, but it's been my favorite bronzer for a while. And it has shimmer in it. Ooh, now we're looking more alive. 
And then now highlighters. Today's purposes, I'll be using Rihanna's. I'm bad with names, okay? And I like to mix both of these colors. Now this is where I like to go ahead and just grab a little bit and then start right at the bridge and just slightly pat. And I think we're done. The last, last thing is going to be the setting spray. I have two favorites right now. I have the Holy Mist by Jeffrey and then the MAC. Go ahead and do Holy Mist today. I just love the smell. I like to just really just almost wet my face with this. So give me just a minute. Right now I am do I liking Jaclyn Cosmetics um, lippies. I'm gonna be using her the liner and this one's a liquid lipstick mama and then this is the liner camera latte. I had a lip mask on before to make it you know beautiful. All right, so that is just with the liner. It's such a pretty color. All right, so that's with the lip. Now I like to do a little bit of gloss over it as well. I'll usually do like a clear or like just like a glittery gloss. And right now I'm use, I'll be doing the wet cherry ones. I love the smell of these. So this is my final look. As you guys can tell, I do have texture. My skin is more of like on the dry combination side. I do have texture right around here. I do of course do my skin routine, do my little facials here at home. But you know, shit happens. So that is it. That is how I do my little soft glam makeup, um, how I personally do it. And like I've said, um, I am not a makeup artist. I'm a makeup lover. So please be kind. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, or whatever it is. And uh, nothing but positive vibes. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you at the next time. Bye!